I know when I'm not talking about your piece, the show is over. But you know, it is not over. This is very important for you to concentrate as we move. Seriously. Um, okay. Uh, I find one of, this is such a unique palette. And what I love about it is she's using everybody else's fabrics thrown in with, you know, things that are influenced by me or done by me. Uh, but I, it's very fresh. This is a wonderful, mad print to go in there. Um, and the great big, uh, uh, what's her name, Martha Nigley, wonderful painter who paints her fruits and vegetables and flowers with such a plum. And that's her coming in there again. Absolutely beautiful. But the palette of this is so unusual to have this kind of mustard green with mm -hmm. the very soft, clear blues and uh, and then the other greens and then that brown with turquoise beautiful I mean just so lovely and then this wacky fabric we threw in at the last minute absolutely works a treat I mean it looks like she went out and grabbed some bum off the street and cut up his shirt you know, wallpaper <laughs> stuck in there. it's just great um, <coughs> and the way this very pungent blue that shouldn't work in there but it's Gorgeous. Well, um, well, this came in at the last moment, and what I loved about this, not only did it relate to these circles, yeah. but it also picked up on the fresh notes. Yeah. So the whole thing, well, the cent five percent of this becomes a celebration of circles. Mm. You know, it's got circles, 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 circles. Can you see? Mm -hmm. you, so when yeah. it's all done, that might become a little bit... But with this prevalent. gorgeous, gorgeous otherworldly palette. I mean, I just, I love the cool, it's not just a blue palette, and it's not just a brown palette, or a green palette. It's everything in between. It's a very delicate, odd, you could almost take it out to the desert, have it with sagebrush, and odd stones, and things. Mm -hmm. And when that, when this comes in, I think it would be very beautiful. And I was thinking she could play with this in different ways. That sometimes it could be diagonal, sometimes it could be straight on. You could. You could do funny things with your uh, little triangles of, of stripes. The, the other thing to be aware of is, you know, these stripes work because that works. Yes. I mean, vice versa. And also yeah. because this is so dark and these are dark, there's a balance. It winks, it flickers at one another. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. uh, quite a few people ask this about a story of deep, wonderful, juicy reds. I mean, I feel like this is watermelons and plums and berries and, you know, all sorts of delicious things to eat. Um, that, that also comes into the sort of ochreness and that gold and then into this kind of brownness. Um, very, very nice. And the way that the uh, arts and crafts moves into my Millie Fury and out into Philip Jacobs. Very, very nice, the way that all works. She's also really played with scale. This is kind of becomes a little kind of tight-ish print that opens out into this big, beautiful Becca print and then into these um, and, and then she plays with the circles of these, you know, it's very playful. And then the great big rollingness of this print, and then the tighterness of that one, etc. Uh, there's just, your eye just keeps moving and being delighted by the whole story. Where's that stripe? Yeah. Th it's right there by your hand. Oh, this, look at oh, how, yes. look at how this stripe picks up on the greens. In yeah. Here. You see, this will run behind these red diamonds. It's okay. So that we get that just that that wonderful sort of old olive story passing on. Can you can you put your hand over here so there's just a small amount? Put it in bits, yeah. Well, it's going to be like that. Yeah. Yeah. Not beautiful. Just you know that's what a border can do. It's just like putting on the right color lipstick. Okay. I don't want to miss a minute of this. Um, and she went from the hot reds, and, and she sort of had a balance between pinks and these kind of lime greens and golds and everything else. And she moved more and more and more into that and gave way to that story. Let it be very uh, high and voluminous and light with depths of red so that we kept coming back to this kind of deep pinky, reddy, purpley story. And I think now it's just... Uh, Wash, you know. Again, I, I want to lick it. You know, <laughs> it's just it's just eminently delicious. And um, she first had a very that very dark cloisonne that I was saying was so 
beautiful and light in the, in the first piece we talked about with all that blue. But here, it became far too dark. So she switched it for the lichen, which is just that much lighter. The, the orange in it just comes to a kind of beautiful climax. I mean, it's just a lovely, it'll be a deep, rusty kind of edge on this story. Yeah, because because this area here, that that's quite light. This is much moodier, this is more like saffron. But she's brought that down here. You get a wonderful kind of wave. And then she's back to hot pink with an orange polka dot, you see, which will just be a delightful little amusing edge on the very edge of things. And who would have thought that this purple rose would look so fabulous in that? I, yeah. I just want to know what colour she's going to wear underneath it. <laughs> <laughs> Leopard skin pyjamas, I hope. Uh, th this is, she fussy cut these, and you know, that's really, f oh, well here, these are fussy mm -hmm. cut too. How wonderful. So you get that kind of, that's partly the kind of hidden story of why this is so delightful. Also, that thing about the fussy cutting, um, she did. She did have the lighter one of these flower a row in here, and it got a bit. It looked a bit like yogurt tops, just kind of went weak. Whereas she just emphasizes take, choosing the stronger ones, so they have their own little bit. Mm. So and and quite often playing with every other one. Uh -oh. That's always very nice. Thing to do. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, <and China. laughs> Didn't you wear the right color to go with it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, before this falls apart any further, what a wonderful saturation of red. Now, this is red with an undercurrent of wonderful brownness. Uh, it's very interesting because I've seen many brown quilts in the world that have been so bloody boring. You know, little Jane of the Plain kind of stories and awful. But this is just wonderful. I love the way she's played with the geometry. This big circleness with this huge circleness, which is then a stripe, and then this kind of very sharp thing, that coming in again, and then the stripes, talking to these stripes, etc. And then look at how that paisley works in there. Fabulous. And the hot, hot pink following it, and then the hot orange following that. Um, those kind of outrageous things are just right in this quilt because the brownness of it absorbs all of the heat of the kind of orangey reds and the pinks. Imagine so that's a very interesting thing to know about color, is that, that yeah. you can be quite exaggerated when you've got a good ground base of, say, gray or blue or, 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 or brown, as you have here. I just want to place a big bowl of red cherries on top of this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dark red cherries. Yeah. Yeah. Blue ones here. Now, this one started out a very saturated blue. There wasn't going to be any relief. And in came this wonderful flaming red, just with that purple background. And it just works a treat. Also, this big purple rose with a blue rose and that deep cobalt blue background, that is gorgeous. And that electric green leaf, it just lights up that whole center. Again, the paisleys are working a treat. Um, the dark cabbage is just, oh, thank you for that. <laughs> um, and then the red coming in again, looking quite different because it's got other fabrics near it. Mm. Wonderful. Uh, and then I, I'm really pleased with the way my old Chinese clouds are breaking up. They, they look very fresh when they're cut into pieces. So she, had, she had to bring that red flower back in because that yeah. on its own looked like a burning torch. Mm -hmm. yeah. But bringing yeah. it back down there, it just yeah. lifted the whole right. thing. Very. I mean, we've got a, a passionate quilt there. Mm -hmm. Wonderful.